Hi. She stands very weird like Oh yeah, I forgot, I forgot how quiet your voice gets in this sort of scenario. Look, watch. Smells like smoke and death. <laughs> Caden always sounds hilarious. It's like I'm, I'm so like Caden Lenko. I'm like bargain basement Adam Jensen, but I came out before Adam Jensen, so I'm the original one. Yeah, I'll get sprinting. <laughs> that, that voice acting. What the hell are those? Like a really bad anime dub. Uh, go with that. And go like, boom. That's really loud. Hold on, I want to turn the brightness up a bit because I want to do that. Uh, where are you? Gamma, here we are. Uh, let's say about 40. 40 should do. Yeah, I say. I say, old chap. Ah, uh, that'll be a bit better. Now it's not, not like pitch black, it's not like Doom 3 levels of darkness. Oi, oi, give it, give it to me. Have I put my gun away? Whoa, speed. Hello, gas bag, can I hug you? Come here. I want to hug you lots. Ah. Hey, so can you fuck off, please? No. When I say I'm going to get a hug, I'm going to get that fucking hug. We, yeah, it's like that is so loud. Whoa! Oh God, what happened here? Lots of things. Oh, oh yeah, burnt people. Hello. Actually, I'm gonna look back on the footage again and see just ju just how loud you know this is. So give me a second. It seems like we might have to put up with the um the loud bang. Because it's tied to sound effects and like most sound effects are quite are fairly quiet in this game. The audio is very kind of dodgy. So we're gonna have to deal with probably gunfire drowning out my voice. Oh. Well, he's messed up, isn't he? Yes, he is. Uh, map throw, there we are. And then I can just go, boosh. Oh, that didn't quite work, did it? Um, just to let you know as well, I might, I might, um, not keep it at normal at some point, so I might change it down to easy. Because sometimes this game can kind of get ridiculous in how hard it is. Because, you know, RPG element, elements and all that. So I'm just letting you know in, in advance that there will be times where I'll have to make it a bit easier. Here we are. Rip right through his shields. We're at a chance. Well, yeah, because he's got like the shittest low-level gear we can we can get. Hmm. Well, we got to think more about between these two. I don't want to be a heartless bitch. It's like we got, we've got to get the job done. Sometimes Marines die. The rest of us just have to carry on. We still have to find that beacon. Aye, aye, man. We'll come back for you, Jenkins. We'll come back for you, Leroy. Yeah, that, that was a fun. Oh, no. Kill More of us. Don't worry, I'm working on that. Uh, cover. Uh... More cover. I've got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. Oh. A lot of bodies. Do tell me. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Tell me everything. Fill my ears with your love. Oh yeah, we got we gotta do this. Okay, um Well we do want some plenty of first aid. We want some charm and some intimidate. So one on each. And I would do barrier. Barrier is very useful and I like it. Oh wait, don't we have warp? No, no. No. Here we are. No, we don't have warp. I think that's only a mass effect too. Okay, fair enough. 
Uh, well, we won't have to worry too much about Caden since we're barely ever going to use them. So we'll just sort of do that one for you, my buddy. Hey, buddy. Like Frankie on PC in 1080p. Oh, no. Have you ever watched this video? He's pretty fun, but he hasn't, like, uploaded in, like, a million years. Because, you know, he's working as a solicitor and all that shit. Don't ever make make YouTube a job. Not with how unstable it is to make, make a living off of it. You see, I'm just doing it purely for a hobby. I don't even make money. At least not right now. That might change in the future. But right now, I'm pretty happy just... Just as a non-profit hobby. I hope you can appreciate that. Have you noticed they've stolen sound effects from Halo yet? They got the plasma pistol sound. Kinda of funny. Fuck you, robot. And you, robot. Yeah, eat it. I love robots. How, how on earth did you know I was a cam commander from all the way over there? Am I just that famous? Am I just that hot? Am I like the supermodel of the Alliance? Hey, thing. My thing. I got it. I like having things. She can be like, oh, whoa, thing. Oh, man, I'm so happy. Hello. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, ma'am? What happened there? Give me a status report, Williams. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. What happened to your unit? Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. Uh, let's just get straight to the point. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Take us there. You're coming with us, Williams. We need that beacon. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. Um, let's ask about the Geth. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. What about Nihilus? Have you seen that sexy, sexy Turian ass? Have you seen ass? a Turian specter around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a specter anyway. Oh my if you God, saw this guy, you'd know. <laughs> Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. The oh, fuck? Move out! Okay. Hell yeah, we're moving out, baby. Let me move the f what the fuck out. Oh, by the way, in case you haven't uh, noticed, if you know, at the far end of this trench. if you know Mass Effect, then I think you know exactly who I'm going to romance. If you know your Mass Effects, which I'm sure you do. Uh, right now, we are using the pistol a bit more. So. I guess we'll put that on that, and then we'll put that on that. There we are. Squad, we're going to give you assault rifles and combat armor and more assault rifles. you got two of them now. Oh, wait, we do want to save. Saving takes ages on this, by the way. It's like, oh, I'm saving. Oh, man, I'm so slow. Whereas, you don't, whereas that doesn't really happen in Mass Effect 2 or 3. And you kind of have to do that because quit because auto saving in Mass Effect One is shite. Hey, you just appeared out of nowhere. That's cheating. 
Hey, know what I'm gonna do? Hey, hey. I'm one with the force. Man, loudness. I hope you can appreciate it, drowning out my fucking voice. I'm gonna use this on you. Boom. What are you talking about, Caden? Perimeter secure. They're still alive when they stuck him on the spike. Yeah. Us isn't enough. The Geth want us to suffer. Impaling uh -huh. victims instead of just shooting them. There must be some reason behind it. Classic psychological warfare. They're using terror as a weapon. No, no, no. You'll figure out what it is. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. Any survivors? You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Okay. Let's go and find those survivors. Plan, oh. Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Don't worry, Mr. Torian man. I'm going to come up there. <laughs> Dirty. And, um, yeah, we're going to have a good time, aren't we? Whoa. Unreal Engine 3, as usual, loading stuff in on the fly. It's just there, like, oh, no. Oh, God, I'm shitting myself. Oh. Looks like they hit the camp hard. Yeah, seems like it's it. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Oh, God, they're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? Oh, clearly we have some kind of cyborg zombie here. You know what I'm gonna do? Come here. Oh no, he didn't come here. Oh, Lord, didn't Lord either. He dead yet? Oh. He was taking his time, wasn't he? Oh, careful. There we are. You gotta be careful and not get penis -y, otherwise... Well, we're gonna get fucked. <laughs> Look at you, Cade, and your shit. Um... Yeah, I guess we gotta go in there. But I know where to go and what to do. It's just like... That door <laughs> is closed. Security locks engaged. Oh, yay. Um... Not much to say, really. <laughs> it's Mass Effect. And we're sort of like exploring around, trying to find loot. Hey, loot! Put the weapon away. We can move around much faster that way. More stuff. I'll check them out in a minute, but right now I want to go over here. I really don't like the loot aspect of this game. It's kind of terrible. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, this. Boop a doop. There we go. Mini game Arama. Humans, thank the Maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. You're safe. Don't worry. We'll protect you. Thank you. I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Crazy person. Let's talk about him. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? Yes, to yes, understand there is no escape? No yeah, hope? A bit. No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. Sound like Maximilian I gave him an Royce. extra dose of his meds after the attack. I can shut him up. Say goodnight, Manuel. You cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard. Bang! Oh my god! What did you do? That might have been a little extreme, Commander. You can't just <laughs> go around whacking people in the head. He's better off. It was only a matter of time till he did something crazy and dangerous. I suppose you're right. By the time he wakes up, the meds will have kicked in. Yay. Tell us about the attack. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. We could hear the battle outside, gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move. 
until you came along. Uh, we'll leave Williams, that. take us to the spaceport. Good luck, Commander. You see, if you, if you want to like learn about all the lore and stuff, or you get out of the way for hey, all the lore and stuff, you know, play the game for yourself. I don't, I don't want to go into absolutely everything. <laughs> Saren. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. I mean, the moment he turns around, you know he's a scary-looking motherfucker. And then he pulls out a gun on you when you're least expect- What is that? Off in the distance. It's a ship. Ah. Look at the size of it. Yeah, it's pretty big, isn't it? Look at that monstrosity. It is huge. Oh, God, it's farting. Oh, no. <laughs> it's farting. It's like, fart. Oh, it's very loud. It's still making noises. Can you stop that? Oh, yeah. I thought it was just husks, but no, we've got we've got full on gas going on here. Boy, huskies. I really don't want to shoot any huskies. That would be very... That would be horrible. <laughs> Oi. That's meant to make you fall over. There we are. That did it. <laughs> Fucking husk. Think we're good, Commander. Are we? I hope we are. Let's level up a bit, shall we? Um, more intimidate, more charm. And I want more. Yeah, put more in throw there. That'd be fun. And you, you get barrier. No barrier. And more barrier. And you, you get assault training and soldier. There we are, that'll be fun, won't it? What the hell is that noise cheese? Noise cheese? What? What are you talking about? I don't have a clue. What am I going to do? A boosh boosh. Oh no. I might want to go out and... Oh no. Come on, come on, come on. Whoa! <laughs> Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out, we're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? They're gone. We took care of them. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Ah, uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. Knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. Tell me about the ship. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only it was coming from inside your own head. Oh. That will be a very, very, very huge plot point. Like, pretty much throughout all three games, so keep that in mind. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. Tell us about the beacon. Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. What about the attack? Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that! We survived! If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. Bye. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you got to learn when to shut up. I don't like being lied to. If there's something you're not telling me. Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. That's why you ran here. You greedy bastard. 
You weren't running for your life. You were running to check on your merchandise. No, it's not like that. I just, I just knew there were some packages here, something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. Is that all? We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. He may know something. He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport if he's still alive. Okay. I have to go. Good luck. Yay, we got a little bit of Paragon out of that. Oi! Combat sensor and stinger. Yeah, I might want to have a look at that, to be honest. Ooh, okay. Yeah, we'll go over with that. And... Oh, yeah, that's just way better. <laughs> way better. Combat sensor. Yeah, that'll help. That'll help. And don't worry, I'm not I'm not gonna go through all the side quests and like all the all the crapness that this game does very poorly. But we're just gonna see mostly the main game and a little bit of the side stuff. Only a little bit. Otherwise that's about it. Commander. Oh. It's Nihilus. Oh no. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait, don't don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! Who are you? What are you doing sneaking around back there? I am sorry, I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. It wasn't the Geth? You're saying Nihilus was murdered by a Turian? The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friends seem to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Then what? Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. Um... Hmm. Geth didn't find you? How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I... I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? Lucky break for you, buddy. If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. Cole mentioned you. You're Cole's contact here on the docks for the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? I do. My supervisor's dead, the entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter now, does it? Smuggle any weapons? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch! We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? Well, I, I never thought you'd it. actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? There you go, Williams. Forget about him. He's not worth it. You're lucky the commander's here, pal. Hand over those grenades. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. Ah, uh, we ain't got enough. Look. Oh, well, we need mind. to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. <laughs> I love how Caden was looking at me like, "Mate, you think he's you think he's gonna be a bitch?" 
Oh hi, you didn't know you were right there. I should have looked at my at my radar, but I somehow didn't. Loud. Shouldn't be that loud. Hopefully not, but if it is, then well shit. I'm gonna use on you. Bang! Eat it, robot boy. No Hello. No I'm gonna use on you. Bam! I'm gonna use that. <laughs> go because they're pretty nasty if you're not careful because because they like charge up to you and like start melee attacking you attacking you and stuff oh god okay yeah we're very low on health there we go we got <laughs> we got actually good first day oh okay um all right god damn it control last stop there we are yeah is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Now we can move up a little bit. Oh, careful. Bring it on. Yeah, do 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 that. Oh no, stamina. Fucking stamina systems. Hate them. Hate them. Really do. Hi. Sadly, you can't you can't really um can't have more powers bound to to shortcuts like you can in 2 and 3. Mass Effect 2 and 3. So you can only have one, which is a bit annoying, but whatever. Not a huge deal. Just means you're going to see this a lot. <laughs> because I'm playing with a controller because I'm a, I'm a weak bitch. That's really the only, only reason. Here we go. Woo. Like, that's gonna be so fun. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Gotta do the stutter dance before before moving. Demolition on with charges. Your mission. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. No, it's fucking Santa Claus who put them here. Who else would it be? That sounds like, like, like the coolest gift ever. What do you want for Christmas, little today? I want a big fuck off demolition charge, Santa. Fuck off, Jimmy. What are you, some kind of terrorist? Something like that. Not in the middle of a fight! Oh yeah, that's one thing I hate about when you're trying to sprint, is that is that it's like like they think that you're gonna talk to them and then it's like, not now! I don't want to try and talk to you, you fucking bastard. Oh, that was dangerous. Oh yeah. Boom. Yeah, using grenades is weird, yeah. Watch. Uh boom. Oh. Because you got a remote detonator. I'm, I'm gonna go and disable the thingy right now. There we are. Disarm that shit. Shit has been disarmed. Oi. Oh god, I got fucking snipers. Yeah, they, they can like one shot kill you if you're not careful. That's why we gotta be very careful. Oh. There we are. Sweet. Hello, charge. Ah. All sorted and dusted. Sprint. Sprint like there's no tomorrow. Oi. I saw something. Ah, uh, open. Things. Don't you worry, I've got like the, the best possible armor I can get in the early game. So, don't need to worry too much about that. Oh. Now I'm gonna use on you. Oh, the AOE on that is shite. Oh god. Thank you. Right, we're gonna fuck this 
geth up here. There we go. Shooty bang bang. But, you know, so some of the combat in this game is a bit... A bit it's a little naff, but it's not awful. It can be fun when you've got like loads of physics shit going on. Going on. Where's the last bomb again? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> I always seem to forget about this one. I don't know why. A boosh. There we are. Now let's go and get that fucking beacon. That bacon. I'm not really a fan of bacon. I don't know why. I like it, but I'm not as into it as I am in other meats. Like minted lamb. Oh, yes, please. Minted lamb is sick. A uh, bosh. A uh, bosh. A uh, bosh, 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 bosh. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. Let's go and check through our gear. Oh, shield battery. That'll help. Um. No. <laughs> shield, shield is probably the most important. Oh, scimitar too. Yes, please. Okay, we've got nothing there. Yep, that'll do. Any here? No. I'm not I'm not gonna bother too much about giving them things because I'm not gonna use Ashley or Caden. <laughs> Just never gonna use them. There we are, more shotgun power. I'm gonna use alien allies because they're the more fun ones. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. It's too dangerous. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. gonna say boobs <laughs> but you know story critical cutscene oh and again doctor dr chakwas i think she's waking up you had us worried there shepherd how are you feeling whoa um hmm. i'm okay Minor throbbing. Nothing serious. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. What about the beacon? Where's the beacon now? What happened to it? The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. Hmm. Was I hurt? What's the damage, Doctor? Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. 
I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Science typically associated with intense dreaming. More like a nightmare. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Basically, fuck off, people. <laughs> Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Um... I'm fine. I'll live. I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. I did my job. The Geth would have wiped out the whole colony if I hadn't stopped them. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Geth, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Hates humans, does he? That's pretty sad, to be honest. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? I'm not sure. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? To be honest, it doesn't matter which you pick here because she's gonna say the same thing anyway, so let's go war! I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What will we say? <laughs> what are we gonna tell them? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. There's a bit of foreshadowing in that string of dialogue there. But we won't see that until the third game, so, you know. I'll stop him. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. Understood, sir. We prove Saren's gone rogue and the Council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock.